That wasn't freaky at all, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got gold hot streak. I don't know what that whole fussiness was about. Because it's mother flipping gold hot streak. Look at how awesome this thing is. And look at it compared to the boring bleak original. Never gonna use that big clever again. Not when I have this right here. Anyways, um, that's not the only rare item I've gotten recently. Yes, I am not Jap 28. I don't own every single Scarlet item. So, because I still need some of them. That's where the parcels come in. Now what's so excited about this um, is that I had it specially shipped from Germany, of all places. So I paid 60 quid for a single character, totally worth it, 100%. And you'll see why once we get into this thing, so we're going to waste no time getting into it, mind you. Because yeah, I paid 60 quid for this, don't know if I've mentioned that already, but I mentioned it now, so that's what matters. And um, a third of that price was for the shipping alone because it was international shipping so it cost me 20 quid to get it shipped from Germany but 40 quid for a figure this rare and 20 quid shipping it's a great deal even Jap28 said so himself so quite chuffed about that I am first things first though I've got to continue cutting this thing open trying not to get myself in the process already cut myself open at work today I don't want to do that here Speaking of work today, actually, it was decent. I did both testing and scrapping. Scrapping is where, instead of testing the controller, we get to, like, tear it to bits instead because they're all, like, broken ones. So, it's fun, all the same. But, no, after work, I watched Spider-Man Homecoming. Not Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming 2, because that's totally the title of my movie, my dad, as I watched Spider-Man Far From Home, even. And, um, once I got home... From far from home, uh, this parcel was just there, uh, ready and waiting for me. So that's pretty awesome. So without further ado, because we've had enough of drill already, here it comes. Wow, that's a that's a lot of wrapping. So I was jiggling this before, wondering why there was absolutely no noise whatsoever, and it's because there's like all of this. Now I think I see a little bit of green. Is that more green? Is it green? Yeah, this is a lot of wrapping. I'm, I'm glad that they wrapped it this much, considering it's been on a plane and everything from Germany. Don't think I mentioned that enough. But yeah, I, I see more green. Just look at all that green right there. Can you guys seriously not see the green? It's so green. Oh, there's, there's more green. And more green. And so much green! That's right, guys. I got the regular green old Chompy Mage, and it looks fantastic. Oh, look at that! That is amazing! Oh, I love the green one even more than the red one because the green one has so many more details on it. Oh, it's, it's so good. Just look at it. Just smell it. Oh, it smells so good. You guys can't actually smell it because YouTube isn't 4D yet. But believe me, it smells good. It's especially good for, as I said before, it being on a plane and everything from that whole um, international travel. So I officially have a German green choppy mage it's awesome so now we're going to continue with the video with a little bit of gameplay for yours truly obviously what else would i do now right <laughs> Okay guys, here we go with the Chompy Mage Showcase! Oh my gosh, it looks great in game with all the greenery and everything. Eat your greens, vehicle detected, okay. I'll be taking that off and be watching as we get our training bonus. A chomplish! <laughs> Hilarious. So yeah, I'm now 58 of all of my imaginators, so that means that every single set has been summoned in. And uh, despite the fact that this guy did not come in a box, he is actually brand new, so that's cool. I'm going to be doing a nice little showcase here in case that little uh, intro to the whole uh, showcase element wasn't alluding to that factor enough. So without further ado, we're just going to go into a single race right here. And this is where I can bring in my land vehicle. So we're going to go to Choppy Garden. It seems, um, seems appropriate to be playing the good old Choppy Mage. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. So we got our Golden Hot Streak Special. 
confirm a booyah. But yeah, point is, it seems appropriate to go to Chompy Garden with a Chompy Mage. And I'm using my golden hot streak vehicle, as you guys can tell right there. One that I had to remove from a portal only to put it back on again. Silly old game. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm basically doing this so I can uh, start bragging about the fact that I own both a golden hot streak and green Chompy Mage right now, both of which were very, very expensive. <laughs> The biggest little race, that makes sense. So yeah, it's cool to be racing this game once. It's been like forever since I've raced in Imaginators. So let's have some fun with this. Can't wait to lose. Because yeah, I put things on medium because I'm not too... Um, not too confident in my abilities right now. Plus there's also the fact that... Uh, oh man, we're only one hand on the wheel. That's going to make things a whole lot harder. But there's also the fact that this guy's only level one. So got to be wary of his health all the same. Oh, we got a shield thing. Okay, here we go again with the bounce pad thing with Ingus. Okay, I've just got to get used to these controls again because I'm going to be completely honest with you. In the time I haven't been racing, I've been uh, forgetting the controls, so yeah. Oh, cool. Is that what we need to? We'll take that. Thank you very much. Ah, I meant to do that. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm definitely rusty, to say the least. Ooh, another healing thing you don't mind if I do. I about fell off again then, jeez. Stop falling off me, how hard could it be? Cool, we got Monty. Is this a uh, surname Mole? Because that would be appropriate, considering that Monty Mole is a Mario enemy. Ooh, we got ourselves a boost. Once again, comparing ourselves to Mario because that's a bit like the mushroom found in Mario Kart. The classical mushroom. Can't go wrong with the classics now, right? Uh, in fact, no, yes you can, but not in Mario Kart you can't, is what I'm saying. Oh, cool, we got Balvasar. As in Balvasar Brat from Stick Ball Me Free. Why the heck reference anything to do with Scarlet when they can reference much better things instead? I'm joking, there is no way that it's Stick Ball Me Free. It's better than Scarlet. Only someone who is truly despicable. Well, think of things like that. Ah, stop hitting me. It's rude. Okay, that was a little better, I guess. Didn't die that time, so it's always that. Ooh, nice. That might have been. And we're going to take the right path again, because right is the right way, don't you know? Great time. You see what I mean? Even, even Choppy Mage goes for me. He's just like, right on, brother. Just wrap up all the part because I ain't no brother of Choppy Mage. Plus, I am not a Chompy, so he doesn't like me. How dare you, Long Black's Ruptor? How dare you? Haha, <laughs> got you, Terrafin. Oh, boy. Oh, cool, we've got infinite boost now. Let's use it. I keep on forgetting that the hot streak has a boost, to be perfectly honest with all of you. But yeah, the boost uses up so much energy, jeez. Oh yeah, more boost power! Oh cool, that's easily the best. Um, we've took that shortcut in like ever. And thanks for the Healy thing, it literally came up when we literally need it most. Literally. I don't think I was too literal with that sentence right there. I didn't have enough literaries, uh, literallys in it. Literally. And I literally pronounced literally wrong from him there. My bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Abuya! Lucky takes over the victory. We take those. But now with the whole uh, vehicle portion out of the way, no more need to showcase Golden Hot Streak any more than that. I think we've successfully got what I was trying to get. So, and by that, I mean a first place, obviously. A first place in a vehicle showcase. So with all that said and done, let's be heading back to regular old gameplay to show you guys what Chompy Mage is like in game. He's a bit like... Jingle Bell's Chompy Mage, if you have them already. I am, of course, going to take the opposite path with him, though, uh, compared to what I have with my uh, Jingle Bell's Chompy Mage, that is. Okay, cool, we're getting ourselves some Imagine that. Should include a Swashbuckler Tacit. Cool, the Leaf Tacit, we take those. 
Oh, that's a whole bunch of experience. Sweet. See it? Oh, I loved it, man. I don't make a very good uh, puppet accent, apparently. But no, the chemistry between Chong Major and his puppet is fantastic. That's what's so great about the character, you know, the fact that the two have such great chemistry really gives uh, the character a lot of, well, character to say the least. I was going to go and say personality there, but character, personality, they're basically the same thing. So first things first, what we're going to do here is we're going to start with uh, Stick Attack. Or maybe we're not. Yes, we are. Never mind. Sneak attack, attack you. Sneak attack, surprise attack. They're the same thing. So the old game. Okay, let's try not to die. That'd be very good of me. So yeah, rather than summoning Chompy to the staff, your bazooka basically launches them out. Which basically questions why the heck did they get rid of the staff anyways? This guy would have made a much better sorcerer. Like he was back in Trap Team. They should have brought back Chef Pepperjack and made him the bazooka instead. But I can't moan about the Typhon Crow being brought back because he's kind of like my favourite Trap Team villain. So I was very chuffed when he got announced, needless to say. Oh, yay, level up. Don't mind if I do. Of course it is. Must be like the greatest honor out there to be a Sky on there, Chompy Mage, my dude. Or at least one of my dudes, because I have so many dudes come to this point. That is not just my dude, it's, it's one of them. One of the many of them. Now, will you guys do me a huge favor and die, please? That will be like, very much appreciated. Oh, cool. Cheers, buddy. Sweet, we got that guy too of our leveling up. Sick skill. Once again, the chumpy puppet lived it, man. Uh, booyah, you give me that experience, I'll be taking that experience, thank you very much, as Brie Larson would say. That's like my favourite Brie Larson quote, thank you very much. <laughs> I definitely don't hate Brie Larson as much as I did initially. In fact, Brie Larson and her controversy that she managed to spark is a bit of a funny story with my personal reaction. At first, I couldn't care less. I mean, like, seriously, I just thought everyone was over-exaggerating it. Then I looked into it some more and uh, started to hate Brie Larson for her comments on white male criticism. That was the only thing that got me. Anything else she was saying, I was totally okay with and found that most people were taking it to the extreme, which they didn't need to, and uh, just misunderstood it, you could say. Um, ooh, I'll be uh, going in here. I, I meant to do this. This is all part of the plan. But yeah, basically, I didn't like her comments on white male criticism, and now I just I got to a point where I don't care anymore. I mean, like, I still don't think Brie Larson is the best Captain Marvel. I think Emily Blunt, in particular, with several other examples, could have, been, could have made a much better Captain Marvel, but... Hey, got a lift of what we got, right? And I'm not going to moan about Marvel because I love Marvel regardless. I just realized it probably would have been wise for me to get my Sky Chi first, but I can't be asked to play through the Golden Arcade to go get it, so never mind. You guys really got to learn to stop hitting me. It's still rude. It's like as rude now as it was the last time I said it was rude. That's just how rude it is, people. Yeah, let's go with the leveling up, boys. Okay, cool. We're getting them slowly but surely, which is always awesome. Well, it would be awesome. That's a true question now, right? Okay, I'm going to take down that fella right there because I do not like that fella right there. Got him. Yeah, the reason why I don't like that fella is that he gives rotten cheese to these stinking rats, which, first of all, their hitboxes is ridiculously cheap. And second of all, as a big rat, their hitboxes are even worse and they're even more cheaper as a result. They go from cheap to cheaper, and that's just how cheap they can be. And it's pretty cheap, all the same. Okay, where's some gold when I need it? I really want to upgrade this guy. Then again, as soon as I'm done with this wave, I'm sure I'll have enough for an upgrade. Ow! Yeah, but being hit like that, that's not appreciated. 
Here come over dead enemies to complete opposite of my element, and they say dead or undead. Uh, over undead enemies, I meant obviously, because our uh, life is opposite of undead, which is why I said uh, for opposite to begin with. Give me gold. Oh man, still not got enough for the first upgrade yet. We will though, no worries. After this, we're going to play the life round because it makes sense. We have a trophy mage, a life sensei. Why the heck not play through the life round with a life sensei? Not to mention, I like the life round. It's probably one of my favorite rounds in the game. With the exception of earth and water, because earth and water, they are short, okay? And the shorter the rounds, the better. <laughs> Yeah, normally you want more content in games, but in this game I want less content, because it's, it's, it's good, but it's nowhere near as great as the other Skandis games were. But hey, I'm not here to bellyache about Imaginators, I'm here to bellyache about how much money I spent on this figure, and even then, it's a damn good price for this figure. 60 quid, what a bargain, and it's 60 quid. Who would have ever seen 60 quid for a piece of plastic being a bargain? Because, yeah, the thing with Chompy Mage is that it was released initially as part of that uh, Amazon pack uh, with the five villains in it. I had Hoodsicle, Typhoon Crow, uh, Dr. Crankcase, Chompy Mage, and Wolfgang in it. And that was the only way you could get Chompy Mage in Wave 1. And basically, since that moment, uh, Jingle Bell's Chompy Mage was part of Wave 2 because that was a wave that came out around Christmas time. Um... So yeah, and after that moment, uh, the green shop of age was never seen ever again. Funniest thing is, is that I totally would have bought the Amazon pack too, because the thing is, is that it was 60 quid for um, five senseis back when they were 15 pound RRP, which meant that you were saving 15 quid, so you technically got a free villain with it. So I totally would have bought that pack if I had enough money at the time, but I didn't. At the time, I only had 45 quid and not 60 quid, so I couldn't order the pack. Which now, of course, I regret it because that pack would have been worth it for Chompy Mage alone. Okay, cool. We're on the third and final round. And we can finally get that first upgrade. Take this, suckers. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Because the thing is, is that I know all of these moves from Jiggle Bell's Chopping Mage, but it's so long, it's been so long since I've played that guy that I've completely forgot what this guy is all about when it comes down to his moveset and everything. Okay, let's get these guys and try not to die whilst doing it, shall we? Got him! Got him! They tried to get me, but they failed miserably. And for trying to get me, this is what you guys you get. <laughs> that makes total sense right there, Broccoli Guy. Weren't even listening to you, but yeah, it takes, makes complete and total sense. I love Chill Bill Broccoli Guy's like sports commentary. Honestly, it's so professional. But it, it, it's just so professional and fun to listen to, man. I, I, I thought I told you I was a bad guy for a moment there. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. How dare you hit me like that? It's time for me to take my revenge on you and accomplish all sorts of things. <laughs> yep, you're definitely the first one to say it. Never heard that before in my life. Okay, there we go. We got him at least. That's very nice. Ooh, pizza, thank you very much. Ow, ow, that's a lot of yowchies. And just like that, we leveled up again. Fantastic. Because Booyah is a blooming good thing to say, and it sounds cool too. And the reason why it's so awesome is because it's in Splatoon 2. Like, seriously, Splatoon 2, your only form of communication is Booyah over here or ouch to replace Booyah if you die.
Inferno does the other way around out actually replaces this way. Because, yeah, that's the thing. Like, even with such small communication tools, they're very effective because you can say out when you die to alert people that enemies are there. Um, you can use Booyah to show that you've uh, done well at something, to show that you're celebrating something. Because at the end of the day, your, your allies knowing where you've done well is, is good because then they know that they don't need to push the objective point or they don't know that they don't need to go towards your location. And if this way is also required in case, you know, one of your uh, allies die and they need to know where it's safe to jump to. So yeah, that's the thing. People say a lack of communication tools makes communication hard. It really doesn't. It really depends on how you use those communication tools. Okay, cool. Let's continue getting the chompies with my chompies. This is like chompception. Killing chompies with chompies, I mean. Or chomping chompies with chompies, I should say, to be more accurate, mind you. Got him. Got him. And just like that, victory is within our grasp. Awesome. And yes, that high-pitched squeal, as I call it, was totally 100% necessary. I know, right? That was awesome. Here's a reward. Okay, so let's be opening this bad boy up. We got ourselves a new chest for Steampunk Torso. Wow, we're very close to that set right there. But anyway, at that, we're going to exit out, go to the Life Realm as promised. And what I'm going to do after that, I have no idea. <laughs> really depends on how long the showcase has been so far. I mean, like, I'll probably call it a day after the Life Realm because we've got plenty of combat dealt with. We've done the racing element, so... Yeah, this is going pretty well, if I do say so myself. Not going to worry about the surprise attack again. We've done that already. Not to mention you get very little rewards from it besides the Imaginite Chest. We don't want that. We want experience and gold. And from that, you get very little experience and no gold whatsoever. So without further ado, I keep impressing the R2 rather than the R1. My bad. Up? What an obvious statement. Of course you're going up. What other way would you be going? Down? Well, clear you're not going down, hence you're going up. Okay, let's be replaying this then, shall we? Greetings, Sky Person. Greetings, Cat. Why is your name Cat? You're a Twitch pillar thingy, you twit. Oh, if only I could skip this, but I can't skip this. Big trouble. Because unfortunately, a gang of evil rats has taken up a feud with the sheep and invaded our land. Oh, that's, that's no good. Take these seeds and plant them in these plots. Something good will happen. I just knew it. Oh, it will, will it? Let's do it in. It will provide you with an opportunity to defeat I don't need rats. to know the specifics. Just shut up and let me get to it, you fellas, would ya? Life, Skylanders, are stronger here. Yes, it is R1 to throw, so I'm very much going to be using the R1 to throw and not the R2. I've, I've made that mistake far too many times, so I think I get it by now. Okay, cool, we got ourselves plenty of these. Oh, and plenty of gold too, we take those. Why wouldn't we take those? It's gold for crying out loud. Oh, hi, fella, how are you? Hi, more fellas, how are you? Jesus, a whole lot of bad guys right now. Wow, that uh, tumble thingy is actually really effective and very powerful. That sweet. Okay, we've only got one more enemy apparently, so... Where's the seeds at? There's the seed. Boom. Is that the enemy one? Please tell me that's the enemy one. Yes, it is the enemy one. So now we could be moving on. Thank heavens for that. Well, once we defeat him, that is. Consider yourself defeated. And we did take a hit, but what does it matter? That's what we got ourselves some grapes for. And let's also upgrade ourselves while we're at it. Why the heck not? Oh, cool. I see. I see indeed. That was an awful throw. Let's just pretend that that never happened, okay? Yeah, like that one was any better. Or that one. 
Were any of those good? No, none of them were. That's the answer to that. Thanks, I really needed this commentary by you guys right now. Really needed it. Like, without sarcasm, really 100% needed it, alright? I mean, how else did you expect to do it? Okay, here we go. Let's be uh, grabbing the last few corn thingies right now. The nuts, I believe they are. Very weird looking nuts, though. I shoot sheep at you like that one Angry Birds game in 3D. Pretty sure there was an Angry Birds 3D, though, wasn't there? Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like Angry Birds. Which kind of remind you, at one point, it was the number one like app ever made. At one point, in fact, I'm pretty sure it still is number one. <laughs> and I played Angry Birds, okay? I, I actually like Angry Birds. <laughs> and the movie, whilst it was absolute rubbish, it wasn't as much rubbish as I was expecting it to be, let's be honest here. Like, seriously, man, it was rubbish, but nowhere near as rubbish as I expected. I, I literally said that twice, I don't know why, but I did. Okay, now this is what I call an effective way to kill off your enemies right there. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yes, I like toast. Toast tastes good, it does. <laughs> the rake, it hit me. It's hilarious. <laughs> How could you not laugh at that, guys? Come on, that is classic humor right there. Classic sla slapstick, you could even say. Stay, say. I don't even know what I'm trying to stay slay anymore. I'm trying to slay the stayers because they don't do much. And if you don't do much, you're not helping me out much. And I need help much more, so that's what I slay you for. Although slay is too much effort for me, so considering that you put no effort yourself, you can put an effort once and slay yourselves. Because, you know, my stay, for some reason I'm saying slay instead of stay, so that's where this whole crazy commentary of mine is coming from. You could say, or slay, in this case, or stay, maybe. Because, you know, stay and say are the exact same word with, uh, uh, with one excluding the T. That's literally the only difference between stay and slay. And say. Stay slay and say literally one letter difference between all three of them. You can see why I'm confusing myself right here. I, c I can only imagine how confused you guys must be by now. Okay, upgrades. Oh man, not quite got enough of that one yet. Okay, that's unfortunate. Not really that unfortunate, just a little unfortunate. Okay, here we go, that should do it. So now let's get ourselves across, shall we? Sweet, prepare to be exploded. Pew, pew, pew. First try. Okay, for a moment now, I thought I missed the rat, but it ricocheted off the back of the uh, guardsman thingy right there. So if we take this. Only one away from my next upgrade. Oh, there, there's the one. Awesome. Up this staircase we go. And more rats. We shall be defeated, my friends. More rats, indeed. If I can actually aim straight, that is. Like, literally, I can aim anything but straight. And hey, there's a little gem right there from what would have been Chompy Mage's uh, soul gem. In fact, speaking of this guy as a soul gem, why the heck not um toy collection there is why the heck not check it out i mean like this is a chompy made showcase you can't have a chompy made showcase without showcasing for soul gem preview and whatnot wow the soul gem preview makes him look really fun can't wait to play with this guy oh wait i am playing with this guy how sweet Wait, hold on a sec, there's another rake. <laughs> oh, classic slapstick humor. It's not actually that funny, I just love exaggerating how funny it actually is. <laughs> okay, that is it. Third time for charm, and now for charm has been overlasted. It's not funny anymore, or overdone, you should say. 
I should say more specifically. You guys didn't say anything. I just said something. Unless you guys did say something, but my apologies. I cannot hear you while screaming at your monitor right now or whatever device you're watching us on. Yes, please. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Deep sea backpack. Cool backpack. But at that, we're going to be moving on. Eliminate the last of the rats. Can we just continue straight on this way? Because we don't actually need to worry about those. We just need to worry about what's coming up up here. Because I believe that uh, this last rat section right here should put us up to 14, which is precisely what we need, mind you. Okay, is this the cannon right here? This is the cannon right here. Let's get him. Oh, yeah, there's that guy up there. Let's, let's kill him while we're at it. This is what I call the most efficient, most fun way of taking down an enemy right here. Why do it any, any other way when you can do it that way now, right? Sweet, got him. Wow, we're very close to leveling up, actually. It's probably worth taking this guy down just for that. Never mind, it wasn't. We didn't level up. What, what a waste of an enemy, you enemy waster. Okay, so we're going to get this last upgrade, but I'm not going to worry about the paths, because as I said before, I can't even remember which path my Jiggle Bell's Chompy Mage is down. So I'll check that out, and of course, I'll deal with the last of the path upgrades off camera. But I am still going to grab the gold regardless, because... Every little helps, as Tesco would say. Because it's true. Every little does help. And I'll be grabbing these acorns too. Why the heck not? Or nuts. Again, whatever they are. I'm just losing track at this point, clearly. There's gold up there, and I can't get it all. Gonna have to go back round for it. Gosh darn it. Okay, how much gold is it gonna give us? So we're currently... Oh, wait, no. That just, that just got it for us. Fantastic. And we got another acorn from it. Totally worth. What's well, not totally worth is these guys not shutting up, however. Oh, well, never mind. We can we can skip it. Great. Nah, I'd rather just finish this level off as it is, to be fair. A uh, little cat right there. My cat is cuter than you, cat. Just saying. Because my cat, she's adorable. Absolutely, freaking lootly. There's a picture of her, by the way. Because, yes, if you say that's not adorable, there's very clearly something wrong with you. I mean, like, sure, she's no chompy, but she's adorable all the same. And just like that, we got a bazooka weapon. How fitting, considering that Chompy Mage himself is a bazooka sensei, even though, as I said before, that is very much not fitting for him. I was about to say, would it be awesome to do a top 10 most unfitting battle classes? And then I realized that there's only like two battle classes that are pretty unfitting. And that's um, Dr. Neocortex and Chompy Mage. Because Chompy Mage should not be a bazooka and Dr. Neocortex should not be a sorcerer. Like, seriously, man. What were they thinking making Dr. Neocortex a sorcerer rather than a quick shot? Okay, so end up, to end off this video, we're going to blow stuff up because blow stuff up is great. I'd really recommend it. Uh, booyah, you see, how can you not love doing stuff like that now, right? That's a true question. Got him! And we leveled up too. Now that, my friends, is what I call ending on a high note. So, I'm going to call the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. But until such a moment, peace. Before the video truly ends, I felt like it would only be right to compare the two Chompy Mages beforehand. So basically you have, of course, a regular old green version up against Jingle Bell's Chompy Mage. Now I definitely prefer the regular Chompy Mage. I suppose that's just biased because I spent a lot of money on this guy. Um, but I like the fact that the staff is two different colours. Um, it makes it feel more authentic because, of course, the Chompy on the end is made from a different material than the... Um, wooden staff part itself. Why is it the same colours on the uh, Jingle Bells Chompy Mage version? Although I do prefer the um, actual colours used for the staff in this version because it has a nice gloss to it. It reflects the sunlight quite, quite nicely as you can see in the camera due to its glossy finish.
But no, because of the specific colouring of the staff on the original Trump image, you can see like more details, like this like, little uh, cut on the chompy right now. But yeah, I just love the fact that the green and the red have more of a contrast with one another. It really brings out brighter colours. And the chompy puppet being lighter green just feels... Well, it just, yeah, has that better feeling than what the white puppet, uh, white puppet does, you could say. So yeah, I just prefer the colours on the uh, green version overall, like I said before, because of the contrast and just because I like the colour green more than I like the colour red. It's just a personal psyche of mine. So yes, there's your comparison right there, guys. You let me know which one you think is better from the comment section below. Again, I think it's green chompy mains. You guys might agree or disagree. That's up to you, but I'll see you guys down there. It's time for easily the best moment of getting any new scar under putting them on the shelf with the others. So, uh, Chompy Mage right here, using my left hand for this was not a good idea, but he gets to be put on the shelf right back there besides Dr. Crankcase. Uh, unfortunately, for shelf itself did kind of distort the view right there, but uh, seriously, with that being my final sensei, the whole collection as a whole looks pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself.